have to I want to give Oki a facial because his face is so itchy. Want to give you a mohawk? Want to have a mohawk? <laughs> you have a mohawk. We're having a spa day. We're having a spa day. Welcome to this section of the vlog that I call showering with my pants on. Essentially, we went to a store. I think it was Paxson. It was buy one, get three free. Between the two of us, we both got two items. I got these pair of jeans for $10. Really like them. I'm in between sizes. The size up from this was too big. And then this size is quite tight. I saw this hack. <laughs> on TikTok where if you take a shower in your jeans and then you wear them a bit, they like essentially gain like a size or something. I'm just gonna try it and let you know if it actually works. You guys are gonna be the judge because I'm gonna show you the jeans on before and the jeans on after. They're so cute. Like I'm sure you're wondering, is it worth it? Well, for $10. They're really nice wide leg. They're actually cotton, you know, like fake denim. So I feel like this is gonna work really well on them. Cotton jeans, typically you wear once and then I feel like by the end of the day, they're like a different size anyways. It gives me kind of like this love handle vibe. I love that for myself. So I'm looking for like an, I don't know, an inch. It's like pushing all this up high, you know, as it does that. Anyways, for ten dollars, let's let's get our pants wet. This is not a good feeling. Ah. Now I'm told you're supposed to like wear them around your house or whatever. How am I supposed to do that when they're sopping wet? It's not like they're skinny jeans, you know? So I'm just going to perform a series of movements. Enjoy. This feels awful. I think it's, I think it's worse because they're wide leg. It's definitely gonna work. I can already like feel it working. Not even the lunge, like I don't need the lunge because like, look how wide it is off my hips. That's what I liked is that these got wide like right here, which is awesome. <laughs> the things I put on the internet. Listen, I uh, watched a video back of me crying on the internet recently and I was embarrassed, but man, this is just what it's like lately. This picture, it's a letter that I wrote to my grandma when I was eight years old. It was just after her mom had passed away and it says, Mama, you're the best. Mama, you are the best grandma in the world. You take us camping and everything. I always wanted to visit you, but now since Nana died, I want to come to your house every day. I think you're lonely. Not much has changed, even at eight years old. Good morning. Today, I am going to look at some houses with my grandma. I feel like it's the first step to just like opening this door. Maybe the door's open and we're looking out it, but maybe it's the step onto the front porch, if you know what I'm saying. Just to show her like what the, what's possible because she's never looked at houses before house hunted, you know? So it's a new thing. It's a really shitty day out. It's so rainy and muggy. Both of them are 15 minutes from where I currently live. And she knows that I'm, you know, looking to move to Nova Scotia, but, um, that might not happen for two years, you know? It doesn't, so. That's what we're doing this morning. Who's that? The other one? You bring my washer and dryer down and put it there. Yeah, you could. With my newer. Yeah. Worked better without the light on. <laughs> this is actually a cute little house. I barely remember how to play right now. Here's what the jeans look like 
on. Did it work is I know the question that you want to know. I think it did. Do I think I gained a pant size? Not necessarily. And do I think that it would take jeans that couldn't do up and make them do up? Again, not necessarily. You can see like there's like some room here now and I'm not all squished up. I feel like they actually fit me now. Yeah, I just feel like this looks better. What am I gonna do when I have to wash them? Good question. Looking at the houses with my grandma went okay, I suppose. One of the houses was just the worst. Yeah, then another one was actually quite good for them, honestly. The last one that I actually showed footage of, the first one I didn't show any footage of because it was just an absolute no. You can't smell cigarette smoke on the internet. She seemed in like good spirits, so. We still have things to do to get her house ready to be listed and stuff. So again, it's just like a step in the right direction. Today we have three dogs going to the vet. This time we have Leroy, Dash, and Oaks. It's always Oaks. Finally wearing my cute Cowgirls Don't Cry tee. I feel like it looks cute with these jeans. Would I have loved to vlog that dog vet experience of three dogs? Sure. Was it at all possible? No. My hair is practically blonde, so I'm gonna put some pink in it. This is a really diluted pink, but every time I go too dark, so I'm gonna try. Hopefully it goes the exact right color. I'm also doing it messy because there's like no blonde under here. I feel like every time I just waste my time. Anywho, so the um, situation with Oaks, let me give you an update because you guys have kind of been here in the thick of it with me. We thought we had a good plan, like we thought we had him on the right drug and it looked like he was getting better for a while. He needed a longer course of treatment, so that's kind of what we've been doing for the last little while. I went and saw her and I was like, listen, it's we're getting worse again, so what do we do? We did another culture of it to make sure we were using the right antibiotic, etc. Turns out that he's now resistant to that antibiotic we were using. So having to pull out the big guns. We've got like a new topical and a new oral, but it's still showing it's the same bacteria. So again, high hopes. This literally looks like it's gonna do nothing, but that's how I felt the last time. And it, my hair went so pink, so at least I've got a good like hair mask out of this. Other than that, the vet went good today for Dash. Basically what I did is kept him in the car. I had music playing. I told the vet tech to not speak. <laughs> I had a blanket in between myself and the vet tech. I was rubbing Dash's back and I think he just thought it was me do it. He's people reactive and that's why it was next to impossible for him to be adopted out and that's kind of why I'm in the situation that I'm in, which is him living back with us. I need a bigger car. I need like a big old SUV. Biggest waste of my time. I mean, it definitely added some, but like nothing. I just have to go like the darker pink and let it fade, I think, or else I should be dyeing my hair. Like, so frequently. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I think it's just been hard to vlog like stressful events, you know? Thank you for watching.